Okay, let's put the camera right here. Hello guys, this is Asu. In today's video, we're going to be talking about 2024. Well, is this not about my 2024 and how I spend my 2024? It is also going to be your chance to share your experience and the things that you did in 2024 to improve your life or to improve yourself and to become the best version of yourself. What did you do during this time? Well, let us know in the comment section, guys. First of all, I'm going to be sharing the things that I note down in my book before 2024. So, a lot of people, they have like New Year's resolutions they note down in their book the things that they will be doing or they are going to do in the next year. So for me, I note down things that I decided to do in 2024. Let me show you guys. 2024. Learn English for one hour. Learn Spanish for one hour. Eat healthy. Exercise every day. Drink enough water and read for 30 minutes every day. And the next one for the last one, be positive and i decided to do all of them in 2024 to improve myself and to become the best version of myself so for the first thing which is learn english for one hour well i don't really want to give it a tick because i don't learn one hour every single day i don't learn english for one hour every single day but sometimes I learn English for one hour, but recently I've been a little bit busy and kind of busy with things, so I wasn't able to learn English for one hour. But I don't also want to say I didn't do it because I made time for myself to practice my English skills and to make videos for you guys. I want to say I didn't actually do pretty bad on this one, like learn English for one hour, even though it's not one hour, right? it might be like 30 minutes or 15 minutes, which is not bad, right? Let's go to the next one. So the next one is learn Spanish for one hour. And just like English, mm, I don't learn Spanish for one hour every single day. I am consistent in learning languages, I want to say that. But I don't learn that much, like I don't learn for too many hours, I don't learn like one hour every single day. For Spanish, I've been learning it recently a lot, so I want to give it a take, um, more or less. Okay, we just give it a tick, even though I didn't do it like according to my plan, one hour. Um, I still want to give it a take. Okay, let's just go to the next one. It's kind of difficult for me. I'm not sure about you guys. And a lot of people, they always have this like, these plans on, on a diet. So for me, I decided to eat vegetables a lot. So for this one, um, this one, I think I didn't eat like food, which will be good for my health. Because I ate like things for example sweet or like something sweet or something like this which is not very good like I listened to a podcast on YouTube and there was an expert she said that the more glucose you have in your body the more you age and I was like wait what like I eat sweet things a lot like she mentioned that sweet is something that you don't really need for your body and if you have chocolate in the morning or something sweet as your breakfast, it's not good for your body and you will feel exhausted for your whole day. You need to switch from sweet breakfast to savory breakfast. The next one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Exercise every day. Every day? Exercise like every single day? Oh gosh. It, like I'm trying to take a walk around my neighborhood so I can say this is like exercise even though it's not like strenuous or something intense I could still consider it as an exercise I feel like I do walk in every single day so I want to give it a tick sometimes I go to like nearest places to take a walk for example in, in your lake um, I even made a video of it 
like Sumatsuko, I'll make sure to put the link in the description below and make sure to check it out, okay? So, for this one, exercise every single day, I will give it a tick. Exercising is something that a lot of people, they plan to exercise, go on a diet or exercise for like one hour, two hours every single day. And But I feel like a lot of people, when they have done it for like two weeks, not two weeks, but for like two months, three months, six months, they might fail to do it for the whole year every single day. So for exercising, it's something which is kind of difficult for us because like for you guys, you guys might be students or for example have to work and we can't find a lot of time to exercise every single day, right? So the next one, the next one that I decided to do in 2024, it was like to drink enough water. This is something that I need to do every single day. To drink enough water is really important for your body, you know. According to Google, men need 357 liters of water every day. And for women, they need like 2.9 liters of water every single day. For me, I don't even drink like a liter. So this is something that I've been trying to do recently. Okay guys, so let's go to the next one. The next one is read for 30 minutes every single day. 30 minutes. So several people read a lot. Like they read a lot and they are successful. They learned from books and I decided to like read just like that. Uh, to finish a book, it usually takes, um, for example, three months, I'm not sure, four months for me. But I heard that a successful person, I don't know his name exactly, but he reads a book like in a month, two or three books in a month, which I think is really amazing. I can't do it. To read three books or to finish reading three books or two books, it's just difficult or challenging for me. It is something about, for example, about lifestyles, how to change your lifestyle, something related to that, and something like tips and mad tips. It's just like kind of boring sometimes, right? If you are not in a book, you don't read it. And a lot of people, they read like common books or something, um, for example, novels, and to finish reading them, it's easy because you are interested in them, but for reading something related to tips and methods or habits or something for your life, it's kind of difficult to finish it by a week or by a month. So this habit, which is to read for 30 minutes every day, I did it for like, I'm not sure, for 10 days or so, but, and then I got bored and, but I don't want to say I don't read every day, like, I think I read every single day. It's just that I don't read for 30 minutes. Let's go to the next one. Let's be positive. So that was like a book that I bought in 2024. So it was like The Seven Habits of Highly Athletic People. And in that book, I read like some things, for example, habits and things that I need to implement to my life or apply to my life to be successful or to become an effective person. So this one, Be Positive, this is something that I note down in my book after reading that book. So for this one, Be Positive, it depends on my mood. I cannot be positive every single day, right? Like it depends on the situation and the days that I might be having. Sometimes I'm not positive or in sudden things and sometimes, well, I'm positive and in other days i might be negative depends so um i'm not sure be positive this is something kind of difficult to do for us right including for me positive but i tried my best in 2024 to be positive or to think positively so let's give it a tick okay these are like things that i decide to do in 2024. So there are going to be things that I want to do in 2025, which is going to be coming pretty soon. So, okay. Let me show you guys. Learn English for one hour, I didn't give it a tick. Learn Spanish for one hour, I did give it a tick right here. 
and eat healthy. No, I did it. Exercise every day. I did. Which is not that true. I don't exercise every day. It's just like walking around my neighborhood, which I took that as an exercise. So drink enough water. No, I don't do it every day. And read for thirty minutes. I don't do it every day. Be positive. Well, it depends on my mood, my dates, and the situations. So, way I spend my year. Well, it was not bad and not perfect or not that good, but I don't want to say it is worse or bad. It was normal, and it was not bad. Let me end the video right here. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys in my new video. Bye.